So I decided to forego the traditional intro of me just staring awkwardly at the camera and talking to you, and instead I'm introducing this week's project by just showing you a couple of glam shots. So today is the third week in my four week project series with Ryobi Power Tools, and we will be making a coat rack with a shelf for your mail. You can still enter to win $500 in Power Tools as well, so you can find all that information below this video. To get started, you can find the full plans for this project on Ryobi Nation by clicking on the link below this video. You can also find a link to my blog post with all the products I used as well. Since I built so many projects for this functional series, I had a lot of lumber left over and decided to make this project entirely out of scrap wood. The first step was to cut a 1x10 board into a large backer, and then I went ahead and cut a 1x2 piece for the shelf into a smaller size. For the front of the shelf, I used a 1x5 piece of pine and just cut it to the same exact length as the shelf piece. Next, I just laid all of the pieces out and decided where I wanted my shelf to be. I really wanted to center it on the backer board, so I just made those measurements onto the board itself. I then made sure to take the shelf piece and trace it onto the backer board. After tracing my lines for my shelf, I pre-drilled some holes through the backer board. I'm going to be drilling wood screws in from the back so I didn't want the board to split. I then sanded everything down super smooth to get rid of the pencil lines and to prep for stain. I knew that I would be using a pin nailer at some point in this project to attach the shelf front to the actual shelf, but if you don't have a pin nailer, you may want to wait to stain your boards. But because I knew that I wasn't going to be filling any holes, I decided to pre-stain everything. And then once that stain dried, I went ahead and attached the shelf to the backer board by screwing wood screws through those pre-drilled holes that I made earlier in the project. Once the shelf was attached, I flipped over the entire coat rack and glued and pin nailed the front piece onto the shelf. Now this is the part of the project where I was really mad at myself because I used so much glue for no reason. So just make sure to be conservative with the glue so you have way less to clean up than I did during this part of the project. Next step was to add all of the tiny little coat hooks to the bottom and I just spaced these out evenly. I then added D-ring hooks to the back to hang the coat rack on the wall. And that's it. Easy and functional. Now I have a place to ignore my bills, dump my mail, and hang my coat all at the same time. If you're looking for more project ideas, you can go ahead and visit my website at DIYHuntress.com and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the fourth project in my functional series, which will be released next week. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching and happy DIYing.